Dear students, welcome to my channel, Do Maths Perfect. Please subscribe and share the episodes. 8th Maths Simple Linear Equations Level 1 Starting Point Ax plus b equal to c is an example for simple linear equation. Here, x considered as variable and a, b, c are constants, that means number, numerical values. And its degree, that exponent is 1, then only it is a linear equation. For example, one solve that means find the value of variable. Here in this problem, x is variable. We have to find the value of x. So, 8x minus 4 equal to 3x plus 11. In this problem, x is variable. Uh, this is variable, this complete is variable, and these two are numerical values. So, transfer unknowns to one side and knowns to one side. This minus 4 is a known quantity, 11 is a known quantity. So, let us group them. So, take minus 4 to right hand side and take this plus uh, 3x to left hand side. We know that if we transfer from LHS to right hand side, or our right hand side to left hand side, its a sign changes. If uh, it is having plus, it changes to minus, or if it is minus, it changes to plus. For example, this plus 3x changes to minus 3x. Similarly, this minus 4, if we transfer, that means from left hand side to right hand side, its sign changes to plus 4. Now, 8x minus 3x equal to 11 plus 4. Here is 8x minus 3x. These two are like terms. But uh, signs are different. If the signs are different, we have to find the difference of those two with the big number sign. The difference of these two is 5. And big number sign is plus. So the answer is plus 5x. Therefore, left hand side plus 5x and right hand side both are having the same sign. So, we have to add them. So, 11 plus 4 is 15 plus 15. Now, 15, 5x equal to 15. Now, x equal to means this uh, coefficient. This is not the term. This is coefficient 5. Transfer this to that means cross multiply this 5 to downside. This uh, numer numerator comes to denominator. x equal to 15 divided by 5. So 15 divided by 5 means the answer is 3. So the value of x is 3. If you substitute the value in this equation, both left hand side and right hand side should be equal. We call this as root or value of the variable. In the same way, let us learn the second problem. Solve m plus m by 2 equal to 3. In this problem, m is variable. m plus m by 2 plus 3. Here, this denominator is there. So, take for this also denominator, m by 1 plus m by 2 equal to 3 by 1. For left hand side, take the LCM for the denominators. 1 and 2 LCM is 2. Divide this 2 by 1. Quotient is 2. 2 into m, 2m plus. Divide this 2 by 2. Quotient is 1. 1 into m, 1m. So 2m plus 1m divided by 2 equal to 3 by 2. Add these two like terms, 3m by 2 equal to 3 by 2. Cross multiply like this. Or you may keep this variable as it is, m, 3 by 1 as it is. Now, 3 by 2 is there, you know. You may cross multiply. This denominator goes to numerator 
and uh, numerator comes to denominator that we call it as a cross multiplication m equal to 3 by 1 into this cross multiplied value 2 by 3 3 3 cancels 2 by 1 means 2 so that is the value of m that is the root of that equation similarly let us do another problem solve a by 4 minus a by 5 equal to 2 in this problem a is variable now other numbers are constants so, again for the same type take the lcm of denominators 4 and 5 that is 20 divide this 20 by 4 quotient is 5 5 into a 5 a minus is there so I put minus here divide this 20 by 5 20 divided by 5 means 4 4 into a 4a equal to 2 can be done as 2 divided by 1 the difference of these two these two are like terms with the like unlike signs so this is plus 5a and this is minus 4a difference of these two is 1 when a divided by 20 equal to 2 by 1 cross multiply 1 into a a 20 into 2 40 so in this way the method of solving simple linear equations